Hello, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and there's some pretty major announcements from the Android developer side of things, and while the title graphic in front of you is a little bit misleading, uh, Android is going 64-bit. In fact, Android went 64-bit several years ago. But what they've done is made some pretty major changes to their Play Store policy, amongst which all apps going forward must be 64-bit, or must at least have a 64-bit version. They're actually making quite a few changes to the conditions to publish to the Android Store. A lot of the concern behind this is behind performance and security. Uh, the newer APIs obviously have you know, the most development work behind them, the most security, the most maturity, etc. is the theory anyways. And they want developers to basically have to target them. And part of that is um, all applications must ship a 64-bit binary along with their 32-bit version. So the newest devices will get the best performance. Now, this is a much nicer approach than what Apple took. Apple basically said 64-bit or piss off and kind of was the approach. Unfortunately, with the most recent update to iOS, I can no longer run half a dozen apps on my um, iPad anymore, such as XCOM. Uh, they didn't update it, I got screwed. And, you know, Google is taking a much more long view approach to it, but they're taking, you know, kind of a similar tack. They want to move everyone into the 21st century here, get people on the most current tasks, so they've brought through a number of changes. And we're going to discuss exactly what those changes are. Um, they're nicely summarized a bit down below. I will link this um, in the comments down below, there's a lot more detail in what they're doing. Uh, but the basics is this one, new apps in 2018 will be required to target Android tw uh, level 26, which is uh, Android 8 or Oreo. Um, and then on November 2018, all new updates to existing apps. This is the big one. All new updates to the existing apps will be required to target Android 8 or higher. So you're going to start seeing a lot of legacy apps drop in support. So if you've got an existing app on the App Store, pay a lot of attention to this because as of November 2018, you're not going to be able to push out updates anymore unless those updates target Android um, 8. So th definitely something to be aware of there. And then going forward, uh, they will constantly be increasing it so that you know apps submitted at X amount of time need to target the most current version rolling forward. Now, the other thing I mentioned earlier, and that is in the title graphic, is the requirement for 64-bit support. As you will see here, 64-bit support is going to be a requirement in 2019. Basically, they're saying 40% of current devices are 64-bit uh, while maintaining 32-bit compatibility. This is going to go up over time. Uh, it offers better performance with additional registers and new instructions, although realistically, 64-bit generally doesn't actually offer that much for performance improvement. Um, but basically, they're saying in anticipation of future Android devices that support 64-bit code only, the Play Console will now require that new apps and app updates are able to run on devices without 60 without 32 bit support so basically you must support 64 bit uh, after this point um, so we'll need to either have a 64 bit alternative either with the same apk or as a multiple apk is being published apps that do not include native code are unaffected um, so if your app is entirely running in um, Java, you should be good to go as long as you didn't invoke too many native DLLs. And once again, this change is coming effect in um, August of 2019. Now the last thing that they announced as part of this initiative is new security metadata being added to every application starting in early 2018. Now to the end developer, this doesn't really affect you. Um, I, I actually, they're saying quite literally no action is needed by the developer or users, but basically uh, they are adding a um, small section of metadata which is inserted to the app signing block, uh, basically to give them better abilities to figure out you know, if it's a hacked app, if it's a secure app, etc. And that is actually one of those things that we should all probably be applauding and probably should have been in there since day one. So, um, you know, tighter identifying code, good thing. 64-bit um, support, well, I like the way they did it a heck of a lot more than the way that Apple did it. Although, I guess Apple has a little bit more control over their ecosystem. And frankly, Apple likes built-in redundancy. They like making you have to develop, buy, buy new uh, devices, etc. Whereas Google is more of a software company than a hardware company these days. So they're not quite as profit driven in that regard, I suppose. Um, but these are some pretty significant changes. I think, again, to existing developers, though, this one is the biggie. The date that you should all mark on the calendar is November 2018. That means at that point in time, if you want to update your app going forward, it needs to target Android API level 26. And if you go into this um, 
this actual post a little bit more, you'll see where some of the um, the gotchas are. In some cases, you'll be able to literally just go in and say, all right, new version, build my binaries, and I'm good to go. But if you targeted some specifics from earlier Android versions, you're going to have some porting work ahead of you. And when that uh, November deadline kicks in, we're going to see a lot of apps start dropping support from the App Store at the very least. So uh, just definitely something to be aware of. All right, so once again, I will link this uh, blog post down below. It is important. Uh, definitely, if you're an Android developer, this is something that you're going to want to get ahead of because um, the times they are a-changing. But and for the most part, they are changing for the better. Uh, I get requiring all new apps to target Android 8 or better. I get requiring them to target 9 or whatever in the future, you know, within a one-year buffer. That makes sense to me. Um, and this one, again, it's gonna hurt, but it does make sense to me, as does requiring them to ship a 64-bit binder along with the 32. I really wish Apple had taken that approach, and then I could still play XCOM to this very day, but mm, unfortunately they didn't. So that is it for now. I uh, hope you found that useful. If you did, please, of course, click that like button, and we cover all kinds of development and game development related stuff here on the channel. If that sounds good to you, do consider hitting that subscribe button too. I will see you all later. Hope you're having good holidays.